This year marks the 50th anniversary of the famous G.I. Joe doll. Many area residents are aware that the Hasbro Company in nearby Pawtucket manufactured the doll, but are unaware that the doll's original designer was an Attleboro resident. Philip Grukowski was a renowned sculptor from Attleboro and was hired as an independent contractor to design the first doll. The Industrial Museum is currently hosting an exhibit about Krakowski and his work as a sculptor. George Shelton of the Attleboro Area Industrial Museum highlighted some of the important Attleboro connections to the iconic brand. Hello, I'm George Shelton, the director of the Attleboro Area Industrial Museum at 42 Union Street in Attleboro. Now this year is the 100 year anniversary of the founding of the city of Attleboro, but another iconic anniversary is that of the 50 year anniversary of the G.I. Joe doll. This has been covered on national TV and recently in the Sun Chronicle, uh, an article on the creation of the G.I. Joe doll, but they seem to have missed one of the important Attleboro connections to this iconic toy. Now the G.I. Joe doll was originally a 12 inch action figure that was created by the Hasbro company. Well, in 1963, the Hasbro Toy Company, based in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, decided to develop this 12-inch tall, posable, military figure to be called G.I. Joe. Since the figure was aimed at young boys, it couldn't be called a doll, so the term action figure was created. The original Joe was even given a scar on his face to make sure that he wasn't mistaken for a doll. To create the features of the original prototype Hasbro turned to noted artist and sculptor Philip Krakowski of Attleboro. Mr. Krakowski was not a Hasbro employee. He was hired as a private contractor and reportedly was paid the princely sum of $600 to design G.I. Joe. In retrospect, if he had asked for one cent for every G.I. Joe doll sold, he would have made his fortune. Philip Krakowski worked out of his studio located at the family home and former dairy farm on Lindsay Street in Attleboro. He was a sculptor of some note. His body of work included a bus of noted explorer Lowell Thomas, FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover, and General Curtis LeMay. He also designed the Dag Hammarskjöld Medal for the United Nations. He created many figures in resin and metal, including one that was commissioned by Lady Bird Johnson as a birthday gift for President Lyndon Johnson. He created many figures of everyday people, of golfers and sports figures. He had a large collection of Western-themed figures, both in resin and in metal. We have the original Lowell Thomas bust, which is a full-size uh, bronze bust of uh, this famous explorer. Lowell Thomas, by the way, was an explorer who, who did a lot of uh, explorations in the Arctic, as well as in the Amazon. He was honored by the uh, Explorers Club in New York, and this bust was created for that occasion. The other famous bust that he has, uh, we have a small version of the Curtis LeMay bust. Uh, General Curtis LeMay was the founder of the Strategic Air Command, but that, uh, the original full-size bust is now uh, at the Air Force Academy. Also, the J. Edgar Hoover bust that he created is on display at the FBI headquarters in Washington, D.C. We have uh, many of his Western-themed sculptors, and uh, also several of the resin figures, Western-themed, some, and also some of golfers uh, that were part of the, uh, his collection. We have a number of artifacts from his actual studio, which was, again, located at his family's dairy farm. Uh, and these items are, when you see them, you realize that he, Mr. Krakowski was very low tech, but very high skill. So he did not have a, a, a great deal of, of high tech type of equipment, but he had a wonderful skill, and you can see it reflected in the pieces of his that we have. With such a solid body of artistic work, it seems rather ironic that he was best known as the creator of G.I. Joe. In 2003, the original hand sculpted prototype G.I. Joe doll excuse me, action figure, was offered for sale at auction for an estimated $600,000.
Mr. Krakowski died in 1996, uh, and uh, he was unmarried, and so a great deal of his collection was auctioned off. And uh, there are still collectors of Krakowski's, and you can find his works on uh, eBay, for example. He is a notable artist from Attleboro. If you want to know more about Mr. Philip Krakowski and see samples of his work, come and visit us at the Attleboro Area Industrial Museum, 42 Union Street in Attleboro. We are open to the public on Thursday and Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I can be emailed through the uh, email address director at Industrial Museum. Our website is industrialmuseum.com and of course you can phone the museum. Our number here is 508-222-3918 and we are open to the public again Thursdays and Fridays.